Hey folks, it's Memorial Day weekend, and what better way to show the respect that the men and women of our great military deserve than by highlighting one of the greatest military rifles of our lifetime, the AR-15. The AR-15 is one of the most versatile and copied rifles in the entire world. It was originally designed as an AR-10 in 7.62 millimeter by Eugene Stoner, Robert Fremont, and L. James Sullivan of the Fairchild Armalite Corporation. And as most human beings with half a brain know, the AR in AR-15 stands for Armalite Rifle, not Assault Rifle, which is clearly a made-up lie by the gun control group or just a simple sign of stupidity. After having designed the AR-15 in 1957, Armalite fell upon some financial troubles and sold the design to Colt in 1959. After making some modifications to the design, effectively changing it from an AR-10 to an AR-15 by adopting the 223 round, Colt actually made its first major sale in a group of AR-15s to Malaysia, not the United States. Of course, the United States military came on board shortly after that and adopted the AR-15, more notably the M16, as their rifle of choice. And yet, anybody who is anybody in the firearms industry makes one of these beauties. There are so many firearms manufacturers out there today that make a wonderful AR-15. You do not have to spend three grand in order to get a nice AR-15. This one right here comes in under $1,000 and it's got all the Magpul furniture on it. And while some take the tactical coolness of the AR-15 a little bit too far, one of the cool things about the AR-15 is the very fact that you can interchange and come up with your own personality in your own AR-15 with stocks, optics, grips, you name it. You can customize an AR-15 to fit your needs or just what your own personal preferences are. And this poor warrior of a rifle comes under constant attack by the Bloomberg zombies out there who want to ban the rifle from legal people owning it because they find it to be scary. Good news is they make one in pink for them. Folks, that is gonna do it for our tribute to the great American rifle, the AR-15. I hope everyone out there has a great, safe, and happy Memorial Day weekend. And remember why we have a Memorial Day weekend. It's not to barbecue hamburgers, hot dogs, and things like that. It's because men and women of this great country have died for us. And in many cases, they've been holding one of these things. These fine weapons have defended the shores of America, and they continue to today. And a lot of great men and women have fallen with these fine rifles at their side, defending them until that last bullet left them off.